Welcome. It's Sunday, February 11th, 2024. It's Super Sunday. And if you're watching this recorded, it's whatever time it is right now. My name is Greg, and I broadcast this on Zoom to several friends, and also I've begun to live stream it on YouTube. I'm of the opinion that the world can use some restorative self-care yoga. So this is roughly an hour of a variety of movements and also other practices like meditating, breathing, and chanting designed to facilitate the calming of the wavelengths of our mind and heart. This, of course, brings about healing that we probably can all use. Now, I do have my cat toy here. Looney occasionally joins in. Looney's my big black mountain puma. He's about a year old, and I think he's may not be a house cat. Anyway, he's distracted, so that's not going to work. Anyway, anyway, welcome aboard, whether you're brand new to this or have been with me for a while. So I recommend starting on your back. So I'll actually demonstrate that. It's pretty hard. You go like this, and for about three, four, five minutes, we're just going to do yoga pose, Shavasana. And this is designed, obviously, to bring about a deep bodily relaxation. This whole class is a yin yoga as opposed to yang yoga, meaning calm, slower, lower to the floor, more peaceful. And we're simply going to give ourselves an opportunity to relax mind, body, and spirit. So let's start doing that now. Nothing to do, nowhere to go. It's a big day here in the Bay Area, so a lot of people are preparing for their Super Bowl plans. And my theme of today's class is triumphing, that you get to have a triumph. We're not sure what will happen in the game. We obviously have our preference, but there's an opportunity to play a game that's not zero sum, where everybody wins. Maybe swallow once, circle your jaw around, wiggle your legs out, get any residual tension out of your neck, back, and shoulders. Welcome if you're just joining in. We're starting on the back. So we have Zoom people, we got your YouTube people, and no matter how you got here, whether you're watching live or recorded, just start relaxing on your back. Give yourself permission to disengage from the worldly world and take some precious self-care minutes. Let's all swallow, gulp, circle our jaw around and relax our face. Nowhere to go, nothing to do. Find your breath. Relax around your eyes. If I were there, I'd give you a little massage of your temples and let your brain relax back. Maybe a little release of your forehead right where your third eye is. Good. Now, can you take your breath a little more deeply into your body as you're relaxing on your back? Can you extend your inhalations and exhalations so your breath becomes larger, deeper, fuller, smoother? Larger, deeper, smoother, fuller. Who doesn't like those adjectives? Couple more minutes on our back. And now that we're breathing down toward our belly button, 
let's tap into whatever we're feeling. Our yogis call it pranamaya kosha, our feeling or emotional body. It's right in there. If we close our eyes and pay attention, we feel our animating life force shaped into whatever emotional climate is passing through today. Some days it's stormy, some some days it's calm and breezy, some days it's perfectly still and calm. What are you feeling? What does it feel like to be you today? Life really stirs the pot, doesn't it? One of the great facilities of yoga is that it trains us and trains our emotional nature to bring the best of our emotional response to whatever life serves up. And by doing that, we end up shaping life, participate in the shaping of our own life. The only thing we can control is our own response and reaction. By controlling our own response and reaction, we influence life as much as we can. And that becomes an upward spiral. Okay, now my Apple Watch says it's 1111, which means we're all one. So take the biggest inhale of your whole life so far. Big inhale. Exhale, let it all go. Pull the plug. You're a kitty swimming pool and I pulled your cork, emptied out. We are calm and empty souls. Good, now wiggle your fingers and toes and circulate super orgasmic feel good, organic feel good through your body. Maybe it gives you twinky toes and a perky nose as you circulate super feel good around your body. Good, then lace your hands, take your arms back up over your head and stretch out, search around for that first thing in the morning stretchy feeling. Goofy grin on your face. Good, then draw your knees in and roll around on your back on your knees a little with your knees in a little bit. Good, other way, rolling around, I call it turtles on their back. Good, and then sit up or roll up, depending on your perkiness factor today. How is your perkiness factor factor today? Anyway, welcome to my Zoom friends and welcome to all the YouTubers joining in based on the analytics. People from uh, Tasmania, Ukraine, Alaska, got some friends in Maine, people down south in Texas, people in the corners of the country, San Diego and Washington. It's great to have you. My purpose is to bring about is to bring to you an experience where you heal and you calm. And we find this deeper connection with what name shall we give it today? God, love, source, spirit, infinite, higher organizing principle, IHOP for short. Anyway, welcome. My name is Greg. That's somewhat um, irrelevant. But my job, my joy, my challenge is to assist my friends to heal through yoga. So today is calm and peaceful. Close your eyes. We're sitting cross-legged. I'm going to drop my chin. That's going to relax the back of my neck. It also aims my attention, heart, solar plexus, belly, three famous chakras down there. Close your eyes and just breathe for a moment. Stop thinking. You've been, I've been talking to your friends. You've been thinking too much. You have a thinking problem. I wish they had 28 day programs where you could go in for thinking too much.
Now, listen to these next two mantras affirmations. We are calm and peaceful souls. And everything is always working out for us. Even with appearances to the contrary. Life will throw us fascinating curveballs. Trees will fall on our cars. And yet we will respond with the best of our nature, the highest of our humor and the strongest of our resilience. And we will turn every sling and arrow of outrageous fortune to our well-being. That's a good prayer. Good, now we'll chant one of our world famous ohms together. And if you haven't done that before, oming is one of the most healing, releasing, restorative things we can do. So belt it out, my Ethel Mermans. Big inhale. Ho. It's important to be heard in this world. It's important to have voice. It's important to open up our throat chakra so that the sound that we make, the words that we speak, have dynamic, influential effect in the world. Polite people rarely make history. Okay, we'll start our via yama, which means joint juice, shoulders, one, so somebody asked me the other day, what kind of yoga do you teach? Hot yoga, Bikram yoga, uh, vinyasa. And it was a good question because I've taught a lot of it over 40 years, other way. But the kind of yoga that I like the most, most right now is, it's called Vyayama, V-Y-A-Y-A-M-A. -A -A. In Sanskrit, it means breaking up of the congestion of the heart, mind, body, and spirit. We break up the stiffness, the congestion, and we bring about an ease and flow within our body mind. Are you down with that? Me too. Inhale. Good, then exhale out. Arms behind your back and up our back for four poofs. Inhale. Poof. I never heard of Via Yama Yoga until I staggered into my primary yoga teacher almost 25 years ago. And he said, we're going to do Via Yama. And I was like, what? Poof. Now, in my last 25 years, I've arranged my Via Yama sequence and I've renamed it Joint Juice. Poof. It's an alliteration. It's catchier. Western people are going to latch on to it more efficiently. Joint Juice, two good words put together, joint and juice. When I get my joint juice going on, I my brain slows down and a natural kind of intoxicated bliss begins to percolate in my body. And it's some of the greatest joy that I've ever known. Poof, good, all right. Let's chant another, another ohm, inhale. Om. Good now, prayer hands, yogis call it Anjali Mudra. Please drop your chin, close your eyes, and Greg wholeheartedly recommends, suggests, invites you to say a prayer of blessing for yourself and for those most important to you. It's okay to pray for yourself. If you ever hear a spiritual person say that you shouldn't pray for yourself, drop that spiritual person immediately and hang out with me. I'll be your guru. <laughs> I'm kind of kidding, but I'm serious. Prayer is our most important faculty. 
if we don't use prayer to influence and shape our own lives, then we're missing the most important tool in our toolkit. Good, my friends. Let's switch the cross of our legs to the unusual feeling way. I'm going to pull back on my buns a little bit because it's Super Bowl Sunday. Something's going to happen later today. Is it going to be good or bad? Either way, the yogi is impervious to that. Easy forward fold. Come on down. Since I began yoga in earnest 25 years ago as a profession and as a lifestyle, I became less and less interested in zero sum games like political contests, wars, football games. Doesn't mean I'm not interested. It just means I know there's something higher and better. Relax your shoulders. Let's breathe the same air together. We worldly inhabitants have our differences, very strong ones that lead to huge conflicts. But when we, re we remember what we have in common, we breathe the same air, we experience the same silence, we have the opportunity to heal. Good inhale, look forward, bright future. Exhale, deepen in, take your time, slow and patient. Sometimes you want to do it slow and patient, don't you? Relax your hair. Good on your next inhale, come on up. Then we're going to counter pose by planting our hands and our feet and Super Bowl bottom lifting Sunday. Lift up. Good. Come on down. Now, when you cross your legs, you'll naturally cross them the regular way. That'll be the counter pose. Easy forward fold for my friends. I hope you have loved one nearby, loved ones nearby, pets, children. And whether the being next to you has flesh, fur, or feathers, share love with them. Drop your head. I'll share my love with you. It's kind of vibrational, isn't it? It's pixelated. It's coming through a speaker and a screen, but love is love. And It'll always find a way. Good friends, come on up. Now, a different kind of front of body stretch. Just put your paws behind you and champagne bottoms and 49ers win rear lift up. And come on down, John. Now, you know a part of your body that's really important, not that part, your neck. I'm gonna interlace my fingers and I'm gonna brush my thumbs down the side of my neck. Now, I don't mean to be uh, provocative or ribald, but I believe our entire body is a, how shall we say, erogenous zone, meaning each and every molecule and segment of it is capable of great bliss and joy. You can disagree if you want, but why would you do that? You should always agree with me all the time. Six, then the world would go great. Eight, good. Now take your opposable thumbs that dolphins are jealous of. Circle them around. Next time you're at Monterey Aquarium and you see a dolphin, show them your thumbs and they'll frown at you. I love making Porpoises frown. Thumbs underneath your jaw. Relax your face into your hands. Massage your thumbs provocatively underneath your jawbone. It's an erogenous zone. It opens up your throat. When your throat opens, your head and your heart connect. That leads to ecstasy. Boy, do I need this. My jaw gets as tight as a boiled owl. Hold steady pressure. 
pop your head off, pop your cork. Good. Okay, then my fam favorite famous Sunday neck stretch. My soft little right pinky pads left corner of my head that is does have a corner. Tilt your head to the right. Drop your chin. Close your eyes. Relax your if I was there, I'd put my hand on your mouth and I'd shake it like your grandmother did, which you didn't like so much, just to get a smile and a relaxing face out of you. Drool if you want. I like making people drool. Don't forget to drop your chin. Super extra relaxed left shoulder. And Greg says, Stop thinking and let the bliss in. See how we give it some time. Sometimes, have you ever been with somebody that's just too fast, they're too impatient and it's like slow down, a friend, a coworker, slow down. That's what my music teachers, all seven of them, they're just slow down, Greg, slow down. Good. Nice you. Nice kids. Bring your head back up. Click, click, click. Soft left pinky pads, right corner. Tilt. Till, till, steady, patient, pulling, pressure, drop your chin, close your eyes. Now, if you were in a big close-up of a major motion picture for the big kissing scene, you'd probably relax your mouth, wouldn't you? Not one of those tight grandparent kisses. We are calm and peaceful souls. I like taking my time sometimes. Sometimes I like going really fast. The bumper sticker on my crushed Nissan Leaf used to say, if you don't like the way I drive to yoga, get the hell off the sidewalk. Good, all right. Now I'm already learning from my crushed car experience. My new car has comprehensive auto insurance. So it'll be covered. So see, every experience, great good comes from this. Okay, let's chant an ohm together. See, sometimes I'm not very smart, but my goal is to get a little smarter every day. Big inhale. Oh. guys sound great. So with your eyes closed, see from the center of your heart, a green emerald and shimmerating, shimmerating. I made up a new word, shimmerating. See shimmerating concentric cir circles of shimmerating love extending out from your heart. Do not make fun of me because I'll get you back in a live class. You can make fun with me anytime you want, but you can't make fun of me. Shimmerating. 
some of the best things I've ever said or what I was not intending to say. Good. Now, as soon as we get our hands and wrists, then we'll be off into ecstasy together. Yes. Thumbs up on that. Good. Now, palms open for receiving alms. And this is a Greg Sunday special, the leaning into your palms. Now, Greg recommends that you drop your chin a lot. And all my students, all of my students have much larger than average brains. So let the weight of your super heavy, super smart brain that says shimmerating, let that drop. Make a ujjayi breathing at the back of your throat. Well, what does that mean? Make a soft, whispery, aspirant seashell sound at the back of your throat. Stop thinking with me. What did Rumi say, the famous Sufi poet of a thousand years ago? There's a place out beyond right thinking and wrong thinking. I'll meet you there. We'll party there. There may be celebrities at that place. Taylor Swift, her cute boyfriend that makes all the yogurt commercials. I thought Taylor Swift was like 19. She's 34 years old, kids. So she should be getting married and having a family pretty soon. Ah, that's going to please a lot of my YouTube audience, I'm sure. Oh, I see a cat. Good. Come up and out. Now, I'm not hallucinating. I also have Zoom people in my class. So if you're a YouTuber, don't worry about it. Exhale out. Now we're going to go up our back for one of our famous ohms. Inhale up your back. Big inhale. Oh. Close your eyes, be ecstatic with me. Yoga Chitta Vritti Narodaha. Yoga, ecstasy, bliss, cosmic union is when the turbulence, the movement of our head and heart, Narodaha, ceases. It's one thing to think it, it's a more interesting thing to experience it. In your younger days, if you went out on a romantic date, would you want your date to say, let's eat the menu, or would you like to eat the food? Chances are, if it was eating the menu, there would not be a second date. Good. And then roly-poly guacamole, speaking of food, roll out your wristies. Golly, Greg, your dialogue today seems to have is Valentine's Day coming? Do you have a Valentine that you haven't been telling us about, Greg? Other way with your wrist. That's secret stuff for my insider, and that's a small monthly donation. Roll your wrists around <laughs> like anybody cares. All right, shake your hands out. I do have a divine romance, and it's with the infinite, and it's ecstatic beyond my wildest dreams. Hello, divine romance. Yeah, baby. Faster, faster. Whew, I'm fanning myself. I'm so excited over Valentine's Day. Cup your hands at your heart. Be blissful, excited, eager, anticipatory. Valentine's Day, the day that scares men more than any others. You can, the best a man can do on Valentine's Day is break even. <laughs> on the other hand, you could ruin your life. So all you guys out there, I hope you break even on Valentine's Day. It's Wednesday. Don't forget it. Good. All right. Now, 
something wonderful. You go like this when something wonderful is coming. It's like, oh, yeah. You come home and there's red rose petals lined up, headed toward the dining room. <laughs> you thought I was going to say bedroom. Faster, faster. Cup your hands over your eyes and visualize something wonderful. I wonder if this class is going to be censored on YouTube. It's too provocative. <laughs> oh, I'm seeing some neat stuff in my mind's eye. Pretty soon with these new Apple Vision glasses, we'll be able to share our imaginations. That's, that's clearly coming pretty soon. Good kids. Now, we should do something that feels really good since that seems to be the theme today. So we're going to do super, super buns Sunday pose. And for this one, I'm going to have a blanket underneath my neck. We're going to do happy 49er fan pose on our back. Knees in. Grab your big toes. And now your shins are goalposts. And there's going to be a lot of footballs flying through. Oh, Jesus, there's going to be a lot of field goals being made. So relax your knees, relax your hips. I don't think I'll be, I may not put this up on YouTube because I don't want to get in trouble more than I already am. So I like this one because it relaxes the back of my neck. It looses my tight buns. It releases my groinage. And I can calm and cool my jets a little bit. And it's a perfect yin pose. Yin, why I yin, why I in this pose so long. And after a minute of this, you're gonna feel areas where you forgot that you had areas. I start to feel a deeper and deeper, deeper release, way deep in my hippies, my groinage, my nether regions, my underparts, and it's a good part of your body to keep relaxed and strong and healthy and lively, obviously. Dur, dur, D-E-R. Can you do this with me for 30 more seconds? I bet you can. Sunday sacred self-care Super Bowl Sunday class. Good, now are you capable of rocking from knee to knee, side to side? The game shifts this way, this team goes ahead, that team goes ahead, but no matter which way the wind blows, no matter which way the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, no matter what the vagaries and the vicissitudes of life throw at you, no matter how you're rocking, don't bother knocking because your consciousness is unbothered. Good, now we'll pause in the middle, lift up your head, and take your legs up to the ceiling for Viparita Karani. Now, when my legs go up, I don't want a blanket underneath my head anymore, but I'm going to leave that up to my yoga friends. We're going to do a minute of Viparita Karani to relax our heart and to remind us as we're panicking later today to control Dorito input because we might do some emotional eating. So, Let's keep, let's stay conscious. Now, I don't care, I don't care what's going on in the field, but when I see Taylor Swift, I might get overly excited and I'm gonna have to practice some deep, slow breathing. So let's do that together. Exhale all the air out. 
Inhale, one, two, three, release. One, two, three, inhale, one, two, three, release. One, two, three, good. Now do that on your own a couple of times. I trust you. If everybody in the world would do this pose once a day, then we would be less polarized and less divided people. Good, now I'm gonna re-put the blanket underneath my neck. I'm gonna bring my right knee into my chest. I'm gonna extend my left leg underneath my piano bench. I'm gonna take my right knee around in a circle to loosen up my ass, a tabulum, my hip joint. Other way, take your knee around. So good for us. Golly, we're just doing some self-care stuff. Now, lift up your head and look forward at your TV set. Now, if you're flexible enough to get your right elbow over your right knee, then do that. If you can't, just keep your hands there. Rest your head down, drop your chin. And let's just do a half a minute of opening up our hips, hamstrings, relaxing our lower back, releasing our shoulders. But most of all, stop thinking. Stop trying to figure out life. The purpose of life is not to figure it out. The purpose of life is joy. If you disagree with that, what the hell is wrong with you? The purpose of life is joy. If you don't think that's the case, then do a life coaching session with me immediately. Really, Greg, you do life coaching? Yes, I'm the best life coach currently available on the planet. UpwardSpiralYoga.com, send me an email, and we'll be talking in no time. Well, aren't you kind of tooting your own horn? Yeah, because I can. Everybody should toot their own horn. Good. Now lift up your head. I really don't think this class is going on YouTube. Grab your left knee, put your right heel away from you. Pull that knee in, take your knee around and loosen up your tight acetabulum. This makes it so more money fits in your pockets. Got my mind on my money, my money on my mind. Wearing some gold chains, flashing some cash. And I've got some fabric swatches for my new G7 that I'm going to be driving around in, flying around in pretty soon. Because I don't need a car anymore because it's crushed, so I'm going to get a plane instead. You can ride in my plane if you want. Good, now lift up your head. Take your left elbow around your left knee. If you can, if you can't, boy, are you in the right class. And we're just going to hug our knee in, going to stay extended and firm through our right leg, drop our chin, close our eyes. While this recorded class may not make it onto Upward Spiral Yoga, my YouTube channel, there could be people watching it live and probably recording it, and then they'll post it and try to ruin my reputation. But I think I'm impervious to that. The yogi is impervious to respect and ill repute, hot and cold, pleasure and pain, light and dark.
In other words, I'm uncancelable. Oh, I like this pose, I must say. I like it because it releases my lower back, which gets tight from sitting for five hours a day playing all my musical instruments. Okay, let's bring both knees back in again, shall we? And let's grab our big toes again. And one more minute of football goalpost pose. This does as much for me for my neck as it does for my booty buns and my hips and groins and hamsters. Oh, deep release, deep, deep letting go. We hold a lot of emotional energy in our hips and groins, obviously, and let's find those energies, release them and catalyze them into creativity, love, abundance and bliss. Okay, you say. All right. And now for something completely different. Let's sit up together with our new released bodies, feeling like somewhere between a hundred and a million dollars. Who's calling me? Leave me alone. Go away. Teaching a class. Okay, let's chant an ohm. Okay, with my buns and my hips and my groins opened up, I bet my ohm will be more resonant and perky. Inhale. No. Prayer hands. Now, a great prayer is, God, thank you for all the prayers you've answered in the past. That's a great prayer. Thank you for all the answered prayers. Good. Now, guess what? Yoga Nidra, N-I-D-R-A. Well, Greg, what does that mean? I'm not currently fluent in Sanskrit. Well, I'm kinda, and Yoga Nidra means the yoga of sleep. Do you like sleeping? Sleeping is one of my favorite activities. It's right up there with um, that and eating. So yoga for sleep. So I'm going to move my computer a little further away and we're going to do a yoga need repose. I think you're going to like it. Now for this one, if you don't have yoga blankets, you could go on Amazon and you could have yoga blankets delivered between 3 and 7 p.m. today. <laughs> you could have, what else could you get? You could have a pallet of Fruit Loops delivered to your house today between 3 and 7, just in time for the Super Bowl. Now. Can you get alcohol on uh, Amazon? I don't think you can. That's not an issue for me anymore. It would have been about 25 years ago. <laughs> I would have been into it. Now, I'm gonna take blankets and I'm gonna fold them up so they look... I take a yoga blanket that's folded up at the studio. It looks like this. I unfold it once and I refold it lengthwise to make what I would call a hyphen, okay? Then I lay this out in front of me and I smooth it out. And then I take another yoga blanket because I'm indulging today. Would you indulge with me? Let's go get chocolate ice cream. And I'm going to clearly Valentine's Day is heading this way. And I'm going to put 
this one on top of that one. And now I've got a, I'm building a, what is this? It's a levee. It's a levee. And this keeps the Mississippi River inside the levee. And that's that. Now, I'm going to get a representative of a somebody that I love a lot, a bolster. And I'm going to hug the bolster. Mm, we are the world. Now, my bolster is going to assist me in yoga sleep because it's fun to sleep with people that you love a lot. So this is my bolster, and I'm going to put my bolster here on the right. Now, this pose is going to last five minutes. So how about watch me get watch me get in yoga bed and then you do it. But first, watch me. So I'm going to lay on my left ear. I'm going to move the blankets out in front of my face. See all these blankets out in front of my nose. My under leg is stretched out. See my right knee up here. And I'm going to bring my Valentine in my bolster. I'm going to take my right knee and clamp down on my Valentine. Then my underarm, my left arm is going to relax on my face. I'm going to put my right elbow on the blanket out in front of my face. I'm going to put my right hand on top of my clown chakra. And then I'm going to twist my hippies down into my Valentine and I'm going to fall asleep. So Voulez-vous que c'est à cette toi? I think I can say it in French and get away with it. And let's relax, kitty cats. This is definitely not going on YouTube because I'll probably be in prison tomorrow. Night, night. Oh, this feels so good. Happy Valentine's Day. I'll be quiet. Yoga, sometimes you need yoga nidra. Relax, fall asleep if you want, I'll wake you up. Oh, here comes my Valentine, my perky cat. Hi, guy. Relax more, settle in. My cat's like, are you sleeping without me? That's not cool. Two more minutes, isn't this good?
we are calm and blissful souls. Good, biggest inhale of your whole life so far, big inhale. I was starting to fall asleep. I forgot I was teaching a class and made it back just in time. Exhale, release. Feel really good. Well, why should I feel really good? Because you said so. Are you in charge of your own mood? You should be. Okay, kids, let's get out of this extra, extra, extra slow and do something that feels even better. Because today is about moving up the hierarchy all the way up to what feels best. Come on up. Hello. It's good to see you. Okay. Um, one of our world famous ohms to whip ourselves into a vibrational frenzy. Big inhale. No. You guys sound spectacular. Wowie, wowie zowie. Okay, now we're gonna finish in the best restorative pose ever invented pose. So you gotta build, you gotta, if you build it, they will come, so to speak. He said, um, how can I justify saying, if?" If we build it, they will come. It's a line from the field of dreams. So it's it's cool to say that. Now, I am going to incline that. And then this is where my head goes. Now, remember these two blankets that were out in front of me? I roll those up into tubes. I got a YouTube on this side, and I got a YouTube on this side. It's a wee tube. Now my feet come together. He's going underneath my my shins and my thighs, and I just don't know how you can go wrong in this pose. 
This is called Supta Bada Konasana. I've renamed it Supta Badass Konasana. And I like it because my, my hippies can relax, my knees can open, my spine is supported, my neck is comforted, my elbows hang, my feet are praying. And this is our concluding pose, happy yogis. And your knees are V for Valentine's Day. And off we go. Relax as much as you ever have in your whole life. I like to imagine I'm in a, I'm in a, nice little boat floating down, floating downstream. I've lifted up the oars and I'm catching the current. I'm getting current. And this pose floats my boat. That I like breathing, not in my head or my throat, not even my heart, but down to my belly and even, even lower, even between my belly button and the base of my spine. That's the sixth chakra. That's the orange one. Orange, you glad that I told you that? And I'm going to breathe from my sixth chakra. Of course, that might also be my second chakra, I can't remember, but it's definitely the orange one. And that is the Valentine's Day chakra. It's the chakra of relationship, of intimacy, of connection. Cracking eggs to make an omelet. Yeah, that's the second chakra, my bad. <laughs> I teach yoga. Pose starts now, I'm feeling really good. Hope you are too.
Hey, good. Let's stay in the pose, except extend our legs out into pool lounge chair pose. Floating in my infinity pool in the Bel Air Hills up above LA. And now here's that Sunday thing we do. It's a beautiful ritual, I think, where if you'd like, solely through choice, we can invite God, love, source, infinite, higher, organizing, ineffable, unnameable glory into ourselves. God doesn't care what you call her. She just cares that you call upon her. Good, I'm wiggulating super orgasmic feel good through every cell, atom, and molecule, organic feel good through my body. Yum. Good. Now, let's sit up together really slow to conclude. Let's really take our time sitting up, cultivating that beautiful sense of calm and peace that we cultivated within ourselves for over an hour. Don't you like that about us as we can, we can go into the ecstatic state for a whole hour together? <laughs> That's pretty cool. So what do I want to say? If I offend you, I apologize. And if I didn't offend you, I apologize. And hands into our heart, drop your chin, and be my valentine. Thanks to the one who brings us all together, our infinite valentine. All together we say, namaste. Okay, so if you watch this live on YouTube, you got to see a treat because you probably ain't going to see it recorded. I'm probably going to have to decide. I'm going to have to check on community standards. So I don't want to be fired again from another yoga studio. So thank you. Please like and subscribe if you liked my hot and spicy vibe. I'm going to 